The moment a bridge gives way in Vietnam. <laughs> the collapse causing several cars and trucks to plunge into the swollen Red River below. Somehow these men survived. I heard loud noises, but I only thought it was from a heavily loaded truck, and before I knew it, I was in the water. I thought I would not survive. Both me and my motorbike were sinking almost to the bottom of the river. Then I gathered my breath and surfaced. When we fell, it was terrifying, as I didn't know how to swim. I thought I would die. The 30-year-old steel bridge was no match for the most powerful storm to hit Asia this year. After moving across the Philippines and China, Super Typhoon Yagi struck Vietnam's northeast coast on Saturday, bringing winds of up to 150 kilometers an hour. Torrents of rain have swamped communities, catching many people by surprise. Some residents have been stranded on their rooftops, while others are forced to wade through flooded streets, including in suburbs of the capital, Hanoi. Officials say most of the victims were killed in landslides and flash floods. Close to 800 people have been injured and power cut to more than 1.5 million people. It seems like nothing was spared from Yagi's path. Near the UNESCO-listed Halong Bay, the owner of this restaurant surveys the impact on her business. I have lost everything. There is nothing left. When I look around, people have also lost all they had, just like me. I can only try to recover from this. The Prime Minister has visited some of the worst hit areas. Close to 5,000 soldiers are being deployed to support evacuation efforts and to assist flood victims. While the system has now weakened into a tropical depression, it's still expected to cause more disruption as it moves west. Matt Cargill, ABC News.